Hello, what's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. And uh, we would before I will start my video today, I would like to shout out uh, Makmak Versosa Makanas of Summer College here in Katblogan City Summer. And I would like also to shout out Huday Timol in uh, Alcarj, Riyadh. I bought this watch eight years ago when I was in uh, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. I bought this mo um, um, watch and it's very uh, uh, durable. It's very, the quality is very good. And until now, it's still surviving. It's a very nice watch, guys. And uh, today, I'm going to share to you grammar. I'm just so sorry because the wind blown these papers away. This I'm going to teach to you today. This video will uh, discuss about how the English sentences uh, are constructed and uh, what is the pattern of English sentences. And this video is uh, for those people who want to study English or might be they find it hard to learn English language in all over the world to those who are studying uh, English as their second language. And I will start. Now, how does English sentence is uh, constructed? In English uh, se uh, language, um, uh, they construct in pattern the subject, the verb, and predicate. Predicate, guys, this is a phrase that is part of the sentence. English language, or we will say uh, a sentence, once you say a sentence, it is complete. It has complete thought. There is a subject there's a verb or either an object or the rest of the part of the sentences. Now, may I suggest along with this uh, video, I would suggest that you will buy books in whatever bookstores you have, the nearest uh, bookstore that you have, so that you are guided on how to construct sentences and uh, how to follow the correct grammar in English sentences. So again, the English sentences are constructed by uh, the subject plus the verb and then the predicate. Now I have an example. The boy is running towards the garden. So it is how the English sentence is constructed. The boy is a subject and is running are the auxiliary uh, verbs. We will not uh, um, uh, go deeper on that because I will also make uh, other videos regarding the verbs, the tenses, the present tense the past tense and the future or later on I will discuss just briefly because in uh, English there are many types of tenses and different types of verbs so go back to the sentence the boy is running towards the garden now by that sentence you will know who is talked about the subject the subject is the boy it is the one who performs the action in the sentence. So you will just ask who is performing the action. That is the subject. And now verb. What is the 
use of the verb in a sentence. Verb is the action word. What takes place or what's going on with that sentence? Like, the boy is running. So, he is running. The boy is running. Running what? Where? Um, towards the garden. So, the boy is running towards the garden. So, from that sentence, you will know that uh, the boy is running towards the garden. So, it's a complete thought. By that sentence, you will understand the message. Now, regarding the verb, um, it's a helping verb or a linking verb is or the progressive aspect of verb which is running so the is and running are the auxiliary verb and another example Christopher drives a car now Christopher is the subject and drives is the verb and a car is the object now the subject the verb and the object now I have told you a while ago about the predicate now the subject the verb and the predicate now this one a car the meaning of the predicate guys it's uh, the phrase after the verb just complete to complete the thought in a sentence now Christopher drives a car Christopher is the subject is the one who is performing the action drives is the action the action word and a car is the object the object guys it is the part in a sentence who receives the action now who drives the car it is Christopher what is Christopher driving of a car so that answers the question what Christopher drives of so the answer is a car so that is the object now again the subject Christopher drives the verb in a car is the object and I will just discuss that in the next videos um, regarding the different sentence patterns on how the sentences are formed the different patterns of the sentences in English now I will just discuss to you the tenses tense the the use of a tense it denotes or signifies when thus the action happens is it today or it happened a while ago or yesterday or it will happen yet there is uh, there are different tenses in a sentence which is the present the past and the future now let's go back to the second example that I've given you Christopher drives a car we will just replace Christopher by he so, if you will just uh, continue watching my video, she will know the different uh, parts of the sentences. So, I will just discuss it the next video. The simple present tense is, he drives a car. I'm referring to Christopher. That is the simple present tense the past tense of that is he drove a car past tense means it happened already in the future tense the simple future tense he will drive a car so that is part of the simple present simple past simple simple future now let's come to continuous Continuous present. He is driving a car. It's the same with the boy is running. So the past tense, he was driving a car. And the future tense, he will be driving a car. 
perfect present tense. He has driven a car. The past tense, he had driven a car. In the future tense, perfect future tense, he will have driven a car. Now we have this uh, perfect continuous present tense. He has been driving a car since morning. Um, uh, about this sentence, he has been driving a car since morning. It uh, signifies or denotes that he has been driving since morning until now. It's continuous, meaning it continues. It still happens right now. The past tense, he had been driving a car since 6 a.m. And the next one, the future perf perfect continuous future tense, he will have driving a car at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, now let's go back. The perfect continuous future tense. He will have driving a car at 6 a.m. tomorrow. So, by that tenses, guys, you will know if it already happened. It is happening or it will happen. So, that's how the sentences in English are constructed. You will know right away the information. Who drives? What does he do? And when did it happen? So thank you so much guys for watching. And the next video I will talk or I will discuss about the different parts of speech. The different parts of the sentences in the speech of English language. Speech means uh, like I am talking. What is that noun? What is the verb? What is an adjective? What is an adverb? So just keep on watching to my YouTube channel. And uh, just share these videos to your friends. And thank you so much. And I hope you will watch my next video.